So in 2010, I was 10 years old, and I'm at Martin Truex Jr., and I'm going to tell you the story about that now. So, sometime later in this video, you'll get to see the picture that's in the thumbnail, which is me and Martin Truex Jr., and I'm uh, going to give the backstory of how I got this opportunity, and then when I met him, and, you know, just after it, and how I feel about Martin now, and yeah, so yeah. So... <laughs> I, I'm a live a lot. I don't know why. I was a weird kid. Always was. I was into weird things like NASCAR. And so I got into NASCAR early 2010. And at the State Fair, they had some Toyota thing. And like there was a NASCAR trivia thing that came up. I don't, I don't remember if it was volunteers or if they just randomly selected people. But I somehow got up there. They started asking me questions. And I was like... I was dominating it. Like, I got people who can back me up on it, aka my parents. Like, there were adults going up there, there were teenagers. I was just demolishing them in these questions. And so, yeah, the questions, um, I remember a couple of them. I think one of them was something like, who is a driver in the, who is a Toyota driver in the 2010 season? And I was like, well, Kyle Bush, Denny Hamlin, Scott Speed, someone like that. I just like, I, I was like, through, I, I think you had to click a horn or something. You had one of those little air horns. You had to, no, it was like one of those bike horns. You had to squeeze that. It's like your buzzer thing. So I squeaked that. I was like, Kyle Busch. Uh, another question I got was, who is the driver who's won in the 2010 season? Denny Hamlin. Um, uh, another one was super easy. It was like, what car do the, does NASCAR use for their stock car? Like in Toyota Camry. So, you know, they were asking some pretty fairly easy questions I was just super quick to answer them they probably asked more difficult questions I don't know uh, I don't remember all the questions that's all I remember from those questions but I won that and I won this little die cast car which I could show you so I'm gonna go get that real quick so here you go um yeah I I have like a lot of these man yeah. but yeah this is the one it was like a Kyle Busch some um, win Martinsville maybe I don't know, but you can see the confetti on it. Fancy. They're like, you win this. Uh, congratulations. You beat a bunch of people in a quiz. Here's a car for you, kid. It's You're a kid, I guess. I don't know. But, yeah. Then the lady at Toyota pulled me aside, and she's like, dude, this, this kid has issues. We need to get him something that just is like, okay, you're a big fan. Got, like, way, you're way too big of a fan. We're going to let you meet a driver or something. I don't know. But, yeah, it was something like that. They must have, I don't know what the deal was. I don't know if the whole thing was if you win that contest, you get to meet a driver or what. And she, she's like, I travel with an ass car. Um, I wish I remembered her name so I can mention her or shout her out. Something like that. But I don't remember her name, sorry. Um, but she's like, yeah, you going to the Texas race in November? I said, I am, most likely. And so she said, okay. Well, here's the thing. I travel with NASCAR and I help with the Toyota setup there and all that. We usually get a speaker, so if you show up this time, race weekend, we'll get you to meet the driver, whoever's speaking that week. We didn't know who was going to speak, so all the way to November, uh, the race weekend, we get there. We don't know who the heck's going to be, so we buy some Toyota stuff. We got like a Kyle Busch shirt, and then we went to the lady, and she's like, you're meeting Martin Truex Jr., and I was like, okay. Run to the 56 hauler. Run to the 56 hauler. I don't know if we actually ran, but I just remember we were like, we got to get the 56 hauler. We got this hat, and um, yeah. So we get there. Martin Shrex Jr. at the Toyota thing. He makes his speech. Um, after that, he exits. Everyone's like, yeah, Martin Shrex Jr., woohoo. Um, yeah, and so I go back sta backstage, aka behind the trailer that's set up, and. I go back there, I meet him, I'm like, what's up, dude? Um, you're a NASCAR driver. You're pretty cool. Some I don't remember what I said. I, uh, I'm trying to think. He probably said, hey, something like that. But I remember the picture, and then he signed my hat. I don't know where it is. Yeah, there it is. He signed my hat. A Martin Truex Jr. hat. So that's why I have a soft spot in my heart for Martin Truex Jr. Um, he was really cool. It's not like he wasn't like one of those drivers or one of those famous people who's like, hey, what's up? Okay, yeah, bye. 
I, he was like, hey, how's it going? Uh, something, something else. He, he talked more. But, like, it was cool. Uh, it was a really cool experience. So, Mark Drex Jr., I remember I was like, I met a NASCAR driver. That's pretty cool. And then, you know, I like he keeps going. He keeps going through his career. 2011, eh, 2012, eh, 2013, he got that one. I was like, hey, I met that guy. That's really cool. 2014, he didn't do good. 2015, he won and he was doing good. I was like, hey, I know that guy. and He's doing good. 2016, he's winning a lot. I was like, hey, I met that guy. Yeah. Then when he won the cha championship in 2017, that was really cool because it was like, hey, I met that guy. So like now I can say I met a NASCAR champion. I think that's really cool. And, um, you know, he's got a cool story. He's a great guy. Um, obviously, he's got his foundation. He's got he's got a really cool personality. Uh, he's just a really great guy all around. So, Mark Drex Jr., met him. That was a really cool experience. And, um, man, it was uh, really cool. I'll never forget that. And so, yeah, that's the story of how I met Mark Drex Jr. And the picture, here it is right now so in 2010 at this race i forgot to mention what happened in the race with martin and my favorite driver jeff gordon as you can see in the sh picture i'm wearing a jeff gordon shirt because i got to support my favorite driver still even though i just met martin uh, that was still pretty cool pretty awesome as i said great moment but um you know martin truex i think he cut a tire or something and he smacked the wall he had a pink car in honor of uh, breast cancer awareness month october and it was november but you know still pretty cool but here's the point he hits the wall early in the race he's fine later in the race he smacks the wall he's clearly done and then in turns one and two jeff burton dumps jeff gordon and there's that whole fight thing and the person in front of me or someone around me was like dude the day for you sucked because i was wearing the 56 hat and the 24 shirt so he's just like dude you're having a rough day your drivers just both crashed out on the same lap i was like yep that's terrible um but you know it was still even though gordon got in a fight uh still an awesome day met martin Trex jr um awesome moment i'll never forget that that was awesome um yeah so um thanks to my parents for taking me to state fair that day that was awesome and my dad for taking me to the race uh great moments great memories um thank you for watching today this video about march Rex jr and yeah uh so in the top left corner you will see another video we are at 250 something views right now let's try to get that thing to 300 and then after 300, we could go for the most viewed on this channel for 410 or something because the most views is 408. So, yeah, top right corner is going to be something else, and then middle is going to be subscribe. So thank you for watching. Like, subscribe, share.